Hallelujah. So we thank God for today for his grace. Yakoma Mungu ametuleta mahali hapa na kuna kile ambacho anakuwa analia. So get ready the mystery of an open heaven. Mystery of an open heaven. The mystery of an open heaven. You cannot afford to miss this one. These are the declaration we are making today. Now you need to understand kuna mambo yanateneka when you operate under open heaven. And you need to understand kuna mambo naweza fanya bingu ikufungukie. So wacha nikuonyeshe haya mambo uyaelewe. Alafu uone kile ambacho baba ya Bible inasema na vile Mungu anataka kutunenea. Kwa maana Mungu ameipanga siku ya leo. Ni lazima ufanye maajabu kwako na miujiza kwako. So unaangalia the mystery the mystery of an open heaven the mystery of an open heaven the mystery of an open heaven mystery of an open heaven mystery of an open heaven oh my good god and i want to be clear tunaposoma haya maandiko tunasoma may you operate under open heaven in the name of jesus christ watch your family yako you operate under open heaven in the name of jesus christ in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 64, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah, chapter number 64. <laughs> so, when we are talking of an open heaven, heaven, heaven is not just a place, but heaven is an experience. Heaven is not just a place. Heaven is an experience also. You need to experience heaven in your life. You see, the problem we have ni kwamba tumeona tu heaven ni place tunaenda. But how ni kwamba you're supposed to experience heaven? So you need to understand that. Ya kwamba heaven is not just a place but an experience. It is a reality. Kuna sema kwamba heaven is a covenant system for covenant people. It is a covenant system for covenant people. It is a covenant system for a covenant people. You need to understand this. Ha ha ha. Heaven is a place where God reigns. Yes. So that's why you need to experience heaven in your life. You need to experience heaven in your life. If heaven hakuna machozi, Mungu anakupunguza machozi. If heaven hakuna laana, laana hazitakufuata. If heaven hakuna magojo, magojo hana nguvu kwako. That's why today nataka tuangalie mambo kadha about the mystery of an open heaven isaiah 64 verse 1 and 2 isaiah 64 verse 1 and 2 okay wacha tusome kwa nguvu kama watu wana jukoba mopalating an open heaven 1 2 3 ah hiyo sauti 1 2 3 oh that you would read the heavens the, the word read there is open also means open so isaiah na q paka na desire na naomba oh that you would open the heavens so and a desire to operate and open heaven paka na bana smoke oh that you would open or read the heavens and come down in fact and allow the power and experience a open heaven paka na desire na naomba oh god that you may open heaven na naomba bingu ifunguke kwa maana anaelewa kwamba time bingu imefunguka kuna makubwa yanatendeka anasema kwamba oh that you would read the heavens and come down that the mountains would tremble before you anasema kwamba anaomba eh, bingu ifunguke ili akushuke Mungu uwepo wa Mungu uonekane milima itingizike anachukumba as long as bingu imefunguka uwepo wa Mungu lazima utonekana ile milima iko mbele haina nguvu that's why anaomba ya kwamba bingu ikafunguke it is my prayer today bingu kufungukie in Jesus mighty name maneke time bingu imekufungukia you enjoy the presence of God wakati bingu imekufungukia ile milima iko mbele yako lazima itatemeke that's why Isaiah anaomba oh that would rend the heavens and come down that the mountains would tremble before you next verse 1 mm-hmm. to 3 hebu soma kama mtu ambaye anajua na operate na open heaven eh as when fire sets twigs abreast eh shay kama vile moto unachoma kitaka so anasema kwamba alibingu ikifunguka uwepo wa Mungu ukuje get that then milima itetemeke 
Then anasema kwamba ni kama vile sasa moto unatoma kichaka. Mimi wakati una enjoy open heaven chochote kibaya lazima kichomeke and i declare today chochote kibaya before you chochote kibaya kwa your family wacha kitomeke na moto wa Bwana in the name of Jesus i declare after this sermon may you operate under open heaven i say may you operate under open heaven Isaiah naomba ana siri ya kukaa na bingu imefungukia yeye anasema hebu tusome what the eyes of when fire such twigs and cause what imagine at ni kama vile tu maji yanachemka <laughs> meaning wakati bingu imekufungukia yet you receive the fire of god mahari ulikuwa uko chini unaanza sasa kuboil again unakuwa energized again angalia na wewe come down to make your name known to your enemies oh my god and cause the nations to cry. I'm much I ni mambo bwana tamka anasema kwamba yanafanyika wakati bingu imefungukia. Meaning Isaiah anaenda kwamba kuna time unaweza operate na open heaven. Wacha tuangalie another verse. Tutakuja hapo. Angalia another verse now. Ha, angalia the book of <laughs> John chapter number 1 verse 15. John chapter number 1 verse number 15. I'm laying the foundation. Alafu ni kuonyesha yale mambo yanatendeka wakati bingu imefunguka. Alafu nikwambie ni nini unaweza fanya bingu ikufungukie? Hebu tusome John chapter number 1 verse number 50. Verse number 50. Okay, tusome 1 2 three. Eh, angalia 1 2 Jesus said, mm-hmm. You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. Eh. You shall do what? See greater things. May you see greater things in the name of Jesus. Angalia verse number 51 is a key verse. Eh. I like it. Then he added, hey, I tell you the truth. Hey, you shall do what? Anabia nadhani yu namna gani? Anabia nadhani yu namna gani? So matena, anabia nadhani yu. Anabidi today anaongea na Kevas. Today anaongea na Sisa hapa. Today anaongea na mama boko mahali hapa. Anabia yu namna gani? I tell you the truth. Hey, you shall what? See heaven. I declare from today may you see heaven open in Jesus mighty name. Anaambia kwamba ataona bingu imefunguka. Anasema kwamba yes, nadhani unashtuka. Kwa maana nimekuelezea kwamba before ukuji hapa, ulikuwa umekaa chini ya mtini, fig tree. Bana akamwambia kwamba akamwambia kwamba utaona makubwa kushida haya. Akamwambia not only that, I tell you the truth, you shall see heaven open. Mimi kuna time Una experience an open heaven. May that be your portion in Jesus mighty name. May your family experience open heaven. May your business experience open heaven in the name of Jesus. And declare watu watano bwana sema amen. May that be your portion. Hebu angalia 1 2 3 tusome tena. Nani ambaye ananoa hapa? Nani ambaye ananoa hapa? Ati nani? Semeni Kevas. Nani ambaye ananoa hapa? Mbona nimekataa kuti Roho Mtakatifu? Nani bwana ananoa hapa? Sema ni Kevas. Nani bwana ananoa hapa? Oh, okay. <laughs> to some of us number 51. Hey. He then added, I tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Goja, 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 goja. Hebu soma tena. Acha na hapo kwanza. Acha kukibia na hapo. Soma tena hapa eh. Hey. I tell you to the hey. Do you believe that God will heaven open? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And what? Angels of God are setting and descending on the Son of God. That's it. So, I'm going to say that I'm open heaven. Meaning, I'm going to experience open heaven in your life. Follow me closer. I'm going to say another verse. I like it. <laughs> Revelation 19 verse 11. Revelation 19 verse 11. Revelation 19. Revelation 19 verse number 11. Mhm. 1 to 3. I saw heaven. Uh, uh, 1 to 3. Closed or open. I saw heaven standing open and there before me was. So are you know heaven imefanya nini? May you see open heaven in the name of Jesus. 
I say may you see open heaven in the name of Jesus. Follow me closely. Bado na foundation. Angalia. Revelation 4 verse number 1. Revelation chapter number 4 verse number 1. Revelation chapter number 4. Okay. To some pamoja. Ay, ay, ay. Eh, eh. After this. After. 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 Okay. After. Okay, okay. After. Yes, after this. After this. After this service. After this service. I said, after this I looked. And there before me. And there before. After this service. Kire kitakuwa before me is on it. Eh, where? Soma. After metata umta. After this I looked. <clears throat> and there before was a door standing open in heaven. Wacha na hapo tukuja hapo baadaye. Lakini kuonesha kwamba kuna verses zinashiria kwamba kuna time big inafunguka. That's it. Kuna time big inafunguka. These people they are born again. They in the heavenly places. But a joy and experience open heaven. Tumeona Revelation 19, Revelation 4. Ameona bere yake bingu imefunguka. Mlango o bingu imefunguliwa. Mini kuna time una experience open heaven in your life. And this is my declaration. After kili ambachi tunenda kusoma sikuwa leo. Auto operate under close to heaven. Uta operate under open heaven in the name of Jesus. Follow me close. Angali now another verse. Luke 3.21. Luke 3:21 Luke chapter number 3 verse number 21 Luke chapter number 3 verse number 21 Follow me closely now To some pamoja 1 2 When all the people were being baptized Jesus was baptized too And Ebu some hap and as he was praying Ebu some tena na babu says as he was Heaven was closed or opened. I declare today, may heaven open for you. So let me ask you, was Jesus God? Was Jesus God? Jesus Christ. Was Jesus God? Yes, Jesus Christ was 100% God and 100% man. He was born of the Holy Spirit. But the Bible says, wakati alibatizwa. Then I can't remember. The Bible says, as he was praying, as he was praying, heaven was opened. As he was praying, heaven was opened. Hapo begin to go to go some about die. But as I go to this, I come back on a time, heaven in a fungukia. And now, but heaven in a fungukia. Kuna time, heaven is a fungukia. Be a sharako what was to ke. Me heaven in a fungukia. I tell you. Kuna time heaven is a kufungukia watu na shuru in favor sister ametoa wapi kumbe ni bigu imefungukia kuna time boro bigu inaweza kufunguka upate financial favor watu na shuru ametoa wapi pesa kumbe ni bigu imefunguka kuna time bigu inaweza kufunguka anointing ya Mungu who operate na higher level of anointing why bigu imefunguka ah may heaven open for you angalia jo ah, ah, ah. act chapter number 10 hallelujah <sighs> this is sweet. 10 verse number 9. Act 10 verse number 9. Act 10 verse number 9. To some pamoja. 1 to 3. About noon the following day. As we are on the journey. Eh. Hey, Peter went up on the roof to pray. Eh. Hey, next verse in Skizi became yani brother anaomba mpaka anahisi ja brother anaomba mpaka ja inaingia maombi mazito then i don't wanted something to eat eh and a whole meal was being prepared alikuwa na ja kitu akasikia kama before goja kona hii chakula before nini tengenezwe eh akakamata na kausingizi nikana kama nikakausingizi kama mshika then next verse he so He saw he saw he saw he saw may you see an open heaven i say may you see an open heaven 
I say may you see an open heaven. That's it. He saw an open heaven. Many kuna time una experience an open heaven in your life. That's it. Kuna time una experience an open heaven in your life. To some another verse before ni kuambia mambo kadhaa yote tuna sana about una open heaven. Angalia Ezekiel chapter number 1. Ezekiel chapter number 1. Ezekiel chapter number one. Oh, glory to Jesus. Then I start just there, verse one. To some people, in that tenth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day, while I was among the exiles by the river, Kemba River, huh? the, the heavens were, the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. Meaning, whether the Old Testament or the New Testament, we can see what about my experience an open heaven. As a Christian, you can experience an open heaven. Na hakuna kitu cha mahana kama wakati una experience an open heaven. Maneka kuna mbaba natendeka and I'm going to show you mabotisa if not kumi. Amo natendeka wakati una experience an open heaven. But before ni kwenyesha mahari pare, wata ni kwenyesha mabo kama matano abo nafanya bingu ifunguke. Number one. Mabo matano ambayo anafanya bingu ifunguke. Mabo matano ambayo anafanya bingu ifunguke. Mabo matano ambayo yanafanya bingu ifunguke. Mabo matano yanafanya bingu ifunguke. Then after that, ni kuambia benefits za kuopaleta na open heaven. Then we are going to declare after this service now, you are going to operate under open heaven. Ukifanya biashara yako, operate under open heaven. Number one. Number one is prayer. Number one is prayer. Ah! Prayer inafanya bingu ifunguke. Prayer. Wacha turudia mahali tutumesoma. <laughs> Luke 3.21. Luke 3.21. Jesus Christ. Ametoka garidi. Amerekea Jordan. Mahali kila mtu walikuwa naenda. Ili ya batizwe. Na mwine sima kuma Jesus Christ ya ripenda mahali pale ya kabatizwa. After kubatizwa. Nisikizi. After kubatizwa. Kuna kitu ambacho warifanya. Tusome pa moja kwa nguvu. One, two, three. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was, and he was praying, heaven was. So, nirini bingu irifunguka. Nirini bingu irifunguka. Nionyesho wa mama ambao wanaomba. Nionyesho wa zea ambao wanaomba. Nikuonyesho wa tuambao wataopaleta na open heaven. And I declare today in the name of Jesus Christ, any time unaomba, may you experience open heaven. So kitu ya kwanza kinafungua bingu ni maombi. Get that? So kitu ya kwanza kinafungua bingu ni maombi. Na bingu kufunguka is not just like that. No. Ikifunguka kuna mbaba na tenda kangali ya next verse. Verse number 22. Verse number 22. Eh. And the Holy Spirit descended on him. Na remember to say makoba you're born of the Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit in you. But any time you minister, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Mark that. So the Holy Spirit upon you is for service. The Holy Spirit in you is for salvation. You are born of spirit, meaning you have the Holy Spirit in you. Because you are born again. But any time iri hudumu, any time iri uibe vizuri hapa, kuna time roho mtekatifu, ata unas, usai kuta kwa mbuna wabuna kutu, oh my God. Uriko na wabuna sikia kwa mbuna umejazo watena. Ata hawezi simamu unanguka hawaii. Kwa mana, yani uwepo wa roho mtekatifu umekuangukia. Nirini roho mtekatifu wali kuja juu ya Yesu. Ni wakati ariomba. Bingu ikafunguka. Roho mtekatifu wakawa juu yake. Ni onyesho watobo na omba. Bingu yafungukia. Watatabea na upako wa buwana. Haidikiria kwenye ibade ya siku waleo. Washa bingu ifunguke. Wamama ajazo na nguvu za roho mtekatifu. Wazee wa jazo na upako. Chochoto unafanya. Unafanya na upako wa roho mtekatifu. Waliomba they pray. Jesus Christ prayed. Heaven kafunguka, Holy Spirit descended on him. Then Angalia, in a bodily form, like a dove, and, and a voice, a voice came from heaven, a voice he had from God. Narakuja kwa benefits hapo badai. Mini wakati bingu ilifunguka, arisikia kutoka kwa mungu. Mungu wakisema na mna gani? It's not about video watu wanasema. Arisikia video mungu wanaongea juu yake. Juu wa mai. 
Nani yasema? Nani nasema? Nani anabiwa? Anabiwa namna gani? Jua mai. Haijarishi vile watu walikuwa wameongea hapo bereni. Haijarishi vile marafiki walikuwa wamemwambia. Bali Mungu anasema namna gani? Jua mai. Utabilifu watu au utabilifu Mungu? Anamwambia you are my son whom I goja. Jesus Christ I may start ministry. No. But before I start ministry and the confirmation ya love. So Mungu anataka kumwambia kwamba although hakuna huduma umefanya na kupenda before ufanya huduma. So upendo wangu unakutia nguvu kufanya huduma. Si ati ufanye huduma ni kupende na kupenda before you u minister so na ukijua ni nakupenda now you can minister and i'm you are my son whom i love with you i'm well ni lini alisikia hayo maneno bingu ilifunguka ilifunguka lini prayer so the first key to operate and open heaven is prayer be a man and a woman of prayer wale watu uko na jana usiku nilifundisha about the eight watches and there are eight watches kuna first watch second watch third watch fourth watch fifth watch and pack eight watches and those keys na kila watch kuna battle zinakuwa that's when unasikia kwamba kuna time unatakiwa sana kuna time uko oppressed sana na kila watch kuna vile mapepo yanajaribu kuwataka watu bali ukijua kuomba una operate na open heaven angalia another verse kidogo tu turudie pale act chapter number 10 Oh God, e time ni mjabii pungue. Nimeanza tu saa 4 nakimbia hivi. So <laughs> Act 10. <laughs> Mahari tumesoma angalia verse number 9. Tusome 1 2 3. About noon the following day. They were on their journey and approaching the city. Peter went up to pray. Ameenda ku oba next verse. Eh <laughs> and wanted something to Ehe. Bado sije sikia hapo umesoma vizuri ehe. And he so so nirini biguri mfungukia time alienda kuomba. So the first key to experience an open heaven is prayer. Number 2. Number 2. Key number 2. <laughs> key number two. Don't miss this one. Key number two. Obedience. Nikuti. Nionyeshe watu bwana jua kuti. Hebu angalia Deuteronomy 28 verse number 12. Deuteronomy 28. Verse number 12. Deuteronomy 28 verse number 12. Mungu anaambia kwamba ukisoma pale jua anaambia kwamba mkitii kile ambacho ninaongea. Mkitii kile ambacho ninaongea. Then verse number 12 akasema namna gani tusome pamoja 1 2 3 The Lord will open the heavens. The two house of his. You see now wakati watatii. Ukianzia verse number 1 wakati watatii. Then unaambia namna gani Mungu atafungua pingu. Nionyeshe watu ambao wanatii. Then I will show you watu ambao wataopalate na open heaven. Nionyeshe watu ambao wakiambiwa kitu hawaski. Hawata operate and open heaven they're born again but hawata experience open heaven. Kuna benefit hawata experience hapa. Unaweza kuwa born again but kuna mambo uta miss. You are not operating under open heaven. So mtu ambaye anatii, akiambiwa kitu anatii, huyo mtu ata operate and open heaven. Mungu alimwambia kwamba mkisikia kile ambacho ninaongea. Verse 1 then verse 12. Anasema namna gani? Lazima nitafungua bingu. Na sto hao zao zijai mvua ikuje wakati unafaa Mungu abariki kazi ya to bless all the work of your hands meaning bingu ikufunguka kazi ya mikono yako imebarikiwa as it open heaven so key number 2 ni kuti kuti kunafanya bingu ifunguke angalia nao number 3 number 3 number 3 sacrificial giving sacrificial giving Sacrificial giving. Sacrificial giving. Sacrificial giving. Sacrificial giving. Hai. Kala kala shakala mazuti kanda. Ah. Sacrificial giving. Angalia. 
Angalia Malachi, Malachi chapter number 3, a very important verse. Malachi chapter number 3, a very important verse. Verse number 9. Tusome verse number 9. Najaribu kukimbizana na time. Verse number 9 kwa sababu I have a lot. Mhm. Mm Okay, nisome verse number, nisome verse number, verse number 10, verse number 10, eh, verse number 10, eh. Bring the whole tithe in the storehouse, eh, that there may be food in my house, eh. Test me in this, eh, says the Lord Almighty, and see, and see. Eh, but we're James, eh, we're James, we're kicking James. Uh-huh, to some, eh. Hey. If I will not open open you the windows of heaven. Goja goja. Meaning anaambia kwamba giving inaweza fanya heaven open. Anasema kwamba if you are faithful na kile mempea then I say, heaven itafunguka. Show me what you want to do. The condition what you want to operate. Expression area kifeda itafungukia. I have seen it. I have broken bear with. I have seen it in my life. I have seen it. God opening heaven. Muga na kupia financial breakthrough mpaka unastuka. Financial favor unastuka hawaii. Manake, ni onyeshe mtu wabai ni giver. Ni kwenyeshe mtu wabai atateda makubwa. Sade turubiri mahali yapa? Aliborukua mahali yapa? Speaker zetu ine zikachomeka four. On a Sunday. Speakers in there is Kachomeka. Not to speak Kachomeka, Kutengeneza wakuna issue. Sabu Kitengeneza badu in Haribika. So in a bid in Nunuizi Nkine. So we had to do that. Na mungu wa retuma pesa. Mungu wa retuma just like that. Mungu wa retuma pesa. Ni muna itaaji. Ni onyesha watu wa mao. Wanajio kutua. Ni onyesha watu wa mao. May you be a giver in the name of Jesus Christ. So number, number four, number four, number four, <laughs> number four, exercising your faith. What to want to exercise faith? Yao imani yao wana fukuki wana bingo. Exercising your faith. Any time you exercise your faith, angali Act chapter number seven. Act chapter number seven. Act chapter number seven, verse number fifty-four. Act chapter number 7 verse number 54 angalia. Remember Stephen amechaguliwa. Kati wale boni seven deacons. Asafu wa mama ni mzee, bara asafu wa mama. Napeleka na distribute food kwa wao. Stephen. Mzee anachaguliwa ku distribute food. Na akawa faithful, akawa na preach and a preach. Kuna time bina sema kwamba angalia verse number 54 1 2 3. When they had these things, they were cut to the heart and they nursed on him with their verse number 55 eh? but he but he being full of the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly eh? into and saw the glory of God and Jesus and Jesus and Jesus and Jesus to the next verse and said behold I see the heavens opened. That's it. And I hope you can look at it. But I don't know. And I see my faith. I can look at it. 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 I 
ameinukiwa baraka tazama juu hakuangalia watu mbona muinukia ah uh-uh. hakuangalia watu mbona umebeba mawe wa mpiga na mawe hapana aliangalia heaven tangu aliangalia heaven akaona bingu imefunguka kana eteli watu mbona unasikiza mahali hapa acha kuangalia watu mbona kuingilia acha kuangalia watu mbona kusema mabaya wanaweza ongea mabaya juu ya exercise your faith endelea kutazama Jehovah God hebu angalia verse number 54 again verse number 55 again verse number 55 again eh but he angalia mahatu yako pale but he being full of the holy ghost looked up so hakuangalia watu mbona muinukia aliangalia juu that's it mambo yakiwa mazitu angalia juu that's a sign of faith sign of faith sign of faith once you exercise your faith you experience an open heaven the last one number 5 the last one intense desire intense desire that desire ya cooperate and open heaven that desire desire ya cooperate and open heaven desire ya cooperate and open heaven desire Angalia Isaiah chapter number 64 verse number 1 Isaiah 64 verse number 1 Isaiah 64 verse number 1 that desire Oh Oh the oh the thou oh the strength oh desire in then Isaiah na desire heaven funguke na hakuna kitu kizuri kama that desire God nasema kwa wakati the Latin word for the word desire mean in a manisha na managa to create a space once you desire you create a space that's why nasema kwa desire even a spiritual gift if you nasema kwa desire even a spiritual gift utamani those spiritual gifts maana kwa kitamani spiritual gift baba nakupea maana kwa kitamani una create a space for god to operate in your life desire the bible says desire and pray desire and pray maana kwa you create a space it's good to desire oh god ah natamani jehovah god that desire hiyo kiu hiyo kiu ya kuopaleta na open heaven hiyo kiu baba nina that kiu hiyo kiu that's why the Bible says hunger and thirst for righteousness and God you feel you. Iyo kiu baba na fraisho na kiu kutamani kuopalete na open heaven. It is my prayer kwa hayo mabumatano it has stick in your life in your palate and open heaven. So kwa haraka sana what are the benefits? The benefits can you napokea wakati sasa na opalate and open heaven. What are the benefits? What are the benefits? What are the benefits? Nako zirika rama. Number one is divine provision. Number one is divine provision. Divine provision. Psalms 78. Psalms 78 verse number 23. Psalms 78 verse number 23. Divine provision. One, two, three, two, so me. Yet, he gave a command to the skies above and opened the doors of the heavens <laughs> and he rained down manna for the people to eat and he gave them the grain of heaven so wakati walipoa manna nilini wakati bingu ilifunguka so there was a divine provision walikuwa kwa jangwa mahali kumekauka mahali hakuna chakula bali wakati bingu ilikuwa inafunguka kila siku bingu ilikuwa inaofungukia walikuwa na enjoy divine provision walikuwa na enjoy man eat and every day there was a divine provision anybody about now pray and open heaven baba to provide for that person and i declare in the name of jesus christ may you receive divine provision in your life why manake after this you're going to operate under open heaven So we repair our brand, man. Divine provision. Number two. Number two. Number two. Increase the visions and the revelations. Increase the visions, and revelations, and encounters with God. Number two. Increase the visions, and revelations, and encounters with God. Akela lozeta. Angalia Zakaria chapter number 1 verse number 1. Zakaria chapter number 1 verse number 1. Zakaria chapter number 1 verse number 1. Zakaria chapter number 1 verse number 2. Tusome pamoja. 
Oh, sorry, Ezekiel. 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 Sorry for that. <laughs> Ezekiel. Ezekiel 101. <laughs> One, two, three. In the 13th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day, while I was among the exiles by the Kemba River, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of vision. Visions of God. So, Nirini are the visions of God. Wakati bingu ilifunguka. So, wakati bingu ilifungukia, utakuwa na wapati na visions. Angali next verse. Verse 2. Okay, look at verse number three. Verse number three. The word of the Lord came. Verse number three. The word of the Lord came. The same, same river. And the hand of the Lord was upon me. So, many kuna visions in it. Okay, okay, okay. Angali mahari tulisoma. Angali mahari tulisoma now. Act chapter number 10. Act chapter number 10. The story of Peter. Wakati bingu rifunguka nini ya liona? Vision. A sheet. Tena muka folk from heaven. Visions. Peter wakati aliomba bingu ika mfungukia. Angalia. He saw heaven open and something like a red sheet being let down to earth by its four corners. Aliona vision. Kumanisha kwa watu ambao wana operate under open heaven. They enjoy visions, revelations and encounters with God. Mungu wana kuonyesha. Mungu wana kunenea. Peter likuwa nananewa juwe ya Cornelius. Yakobo Cornelius that akuja through a vision. Na fili kuta happen. Angeo gopo manake Cornelius yalikuwa ni Gentile. Na Peter yalikuwa against Gentiles. Na wakati mgini yalikuwa na inukia mpaka Paul. Na ambia Paul, Paul, eh. Wee pono unashiriki pomoja ni Gentiles. So ilibidi ya nenewa na mungu hapa through a vision. Manake wakati unaoparita anda open heaven. Mbaba na kuna nenewa mpaka usiku na maono. Anda kupia visions, revelations and encounters. Namba Number three. Number three. Ah, kalako zikiriba. Number three. Ii ni muhimu zana. Don't miss this one. You experience the glory of God. 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 You have to talk about some act. Chapter number seven, verse 55, verse number 56. When, when Stephen saw open heaven, when Stephen, yeah, Act 7, verse number 55 to verse number 56, wakati Stephen aliona open heaven. The Bible says he saw the glory of God. He saw, aliangalia, looked up to the heaven and saw the glory of God. So wakati big wili funguka, he saw the glory of God. So, and he experienced the glory of God. Manake watu about the glory is kabod, ni uzito. Mapupangini hata kutingiza. Manake umepewa uzito. Na wakati unasema glory, glory is it, glory just like that. No, it is abundance. It speaks of prosperity. It's a wholeness of what? Imebeba mabu mingi sana the glory of God. You experience the glory of God. Watu wanakuwa nakuwa wanaona utukufo mungu juu yako. Manake bingu ikikufu mkia, you enjoy the glory of God. Number four. Number four. Oh my God, Jesus. You're being repositioned. You have been repositioned. Mungu wana reposition and change of dimensions. Unapereko to another dimension. Angalia, Revelation 4, verse 1. Revelation 4, verse 1. Revelation 4, verse 1. To some people, 1, 2, 3. After this, I looked and there before me was a door standing open in heaven and the voice I had the voice I heard first. He was speaking to me like a trumpet said. Eh? Said what? Said what? Come up here. So, excuse me. So, kuna mahari jona likuwa. Mara wakati bingu ilifungu kabu yukoba. Come up here. So, change from that dimension to another. Come up. Not to come up here. So, wakati bingu ilifungu ka. Akati ndiwa position yake mahari ilikuwa. Aka preko to another position. Na kwanyesu a dimension ikine nao. Aka anja ku experience heaven. Aka anja ku wana throne. Hebo angari, what to do? Come up here and I will show you what must 
take place after this now let me ask you this does it mean ya kwamba Mungu hakuwa na uwezo wa kumuonyesha tu kwa mahali alipo si kimuonyesha tu kwa mahali alikuwa does it but wakati bingu ilifunguka lazima game position vizuri sana not only that i'm peleka to another dimension may you receive that in jesus mighty name i say may you receive that in the name of jesus another benefit you experience the anointing of the holy spirit 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 look 322 look 322 look 322 tumesoma jesus christ wakati bingu ilifunguka roho mtakatifu akaja juu yake and he experienced the anointing of the holy spirit juu yake to minister after bingu kufunguka meaning bingu ikikufungukia you experience the anointing of the holy spirit to minister ile ile yako maitiwa ile papasi yako umepewa wakati bingu imefunguka you experience the anointing ya kufanya uendelee na ku minister so next one you hear from god you hear from god the same same verse you hear from god unasikia mungu akiongea juu yako anakuambia who you are your identity you hear god speaking to you you hear god big week ifunguka lazima usikie mungu akiongea that's why what wings and what experience big week ifunguka uliza tiko wakati ilikuwa mahali para panetto lose wakati ilikuwa jiwe kawekere hapa big week ifunguka then akasikia mungu akimunenea through a dream man like anybody had experienced an open heaven mungu alimunenea talk about what what hata john anybody had experienced an open heaven mungu aliongea na yeye it is my prayer may you hear from the throne of grace i say may you hear from the throne of grace so another benefit another benefit i have come two minutes to go another benefit milima inakuwa leveled milima ina melt milima yote ina melt isaiah chapter number 64 verse number 1 azeri kuna sema kwamba mungu i desire i pray kwamba oh another desire kwamba bingu ifunguke ili milima sasa itingizike angalia oh that you would rend the heavens and come down that the mountains would tremble before you so manake wakati sasa wakati now bingu imefunguka milima yote haina nguvu alino kuna watu wapona nisikiza kuna watu wapona nifuatilia kuna milima iko mbele yako kama zairubaberi kuna mlima uko mbele yake wakati kuna mlima uko mbele yako what you need is only an open heaven maana kwa wakati kuna open heaven now there is a presence of god Loke na kuna presence of God ile milima lazima itatetemeka lazima itatingizwa I want to declare today hiyo milima unapigana nayo maybe ni milima ya magojwa maybe ni milima ya kukataliwa ni milima kwa biashara hiyo milima haina nguvu kile kinatingiza milima it is an open heaven and i declare today katika jina la Yesu Kristo ile milima imekukaria ile milima iko mbele yako wacha itingizwe na uwepo wa Bwana because you are operating an open heaven Mimi ni mimi nazuria mpaka watoto wako. Mimi ni nazuria mpaka bwanako kibiashara. Experience an open heaven. Wakati una experience an open heaven, you enjoy milima ile kuwa leveled. Then another thing nikimalizia, you be energized. Unakuwa energized. The same same verse. Verse number 2 unakuwa energized. Unakuwa energized, unatiwa nguvu. There is no way una is experience an open heaven then u remain uko vile ulikuwa no unatoka kwa una nguvu mpya that's why wakati bingu imefunguka aisha anasema kwamba ni kama vile sasa maji yanatemka moto unatemsha maji maana ke uwepo wa Mungu unakuwa energized unakuwa energized if ulikuwa umeishiwa unapata nguvu why open heaven and the last point last point ma do you wanna do the power of the name come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake ma do you wanna do the power of the name of jesus 
maadui ambao wanakuinukia wanainukia your family they understand about the power of the name of Jesus when wakati pingu imefunguka it is my prayer today kwamba you going to enjoy an open heaven in your life akatuombe obi moja ya kwamba after this may you operate under open heaven in Jesus name simama